everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have two projects for you today, a color coordinates card and also a color coordinates swatch book that you can put together. For my card I have chosen some classic spring colors and they are Teeny Bikini, Velvet Orchid, Beanstalk Green, Clementine, and Duckling. This is a quick overview of my card, but my backing is the Simon Says Stamp wonky hashtag, and I'll be using this as a trellis for my flowers. I've also added little pieces of foam tape so that this sits up from my fog cardstock. This die is really versatile. You can use it for all sorts of backgrounds, but I thought for the flowers it would make a really perfect trellis. The stamps that I'm using are the bold flowers and I've stamped them in my inks and used the coordinating dies to cut those out. I've also stamped my greenery using the beanstalk green and I've stamped extra not knowing what my arrangement will need so I've used the coordinating dies for everything. To start my arrangement I am adding some greens to the trellis and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Tacky Glue to glue these down and I will start with this small stem and I'll straddle it across the trellis. I've built up my arrangement by using some foam squares on my flowers and now I can add some greenery and tuck it in underneath. Once I have my final arrangement done I can remove the backing of those foam pieces and make sure that everything is permanently placed. To finish off my arrangement I've added additional blossoms to my flowers and also a triple tied twine bow down to the bottom right corner. I've gotten a lot of requests to have our color coordinates all in one place and so I've created a PDF that you can download and that is in the description box below. I am creating a swatch book with this and I am cutting my pieces from the sheets that I've printed. I've printed these onto Nina White cardstock 80 pounds so that they have some durability. On the cover sheet I have some instructions for you to follow and I have cut off one inch from the right side and a half inch from the left side. So next I will put this into my trimmer and cut this from the bottom at five and a half inches. From there I'll turn this around and cut three quarters of an inch off the bottom and that will leave me with a four and three quarters by seven inch sheet. I am scoring all my pages at one and a quarter inch and once I have this bound this will help me to be able to flip through my pages easier. I am creating a really simple book binding and I'm just creating a wrap that's going to go around the edge. Since I have my pages scored at one and a quarter I am going to score this at one and an eighth so it sits just behind those score lines on each page. My next score line will reflect the depth of the book and I have measured this out and it's three-eighths of an inch. And before I remove my paper from my score tool I want to mark where I need to cut the end for my cover wrap. I'm ready to punch some holes and I'm using my grid paper from Simon Says Stamp as a guide to where I want to mark my marks for hole punching. So I am going from the center about one and a half inches. To punch the holes I am using my crop dial and I am adjusting the guide. I want to remind you that there is a guide there so that you can do consistent hole punching. So determine where you want to punch the holes on your paper and then tighten up that guide screw. I'm using the largest hole punch on the crop dial and I'll just punch right through those pencil marks. To mark the back side of the paper, I have just folded those edges close together and marked those with a pencil as well. Next, I want to place my end cover over my booklet and I'm using my pencil to mark where I want to punch these holes. Once I have those marked, I'll adjust my crop dial once again so that it fits center to my pencil marks. To save a little time, I'll be punching about three or four sheets of paper at a time. The crop dial is super strong and it's really easy to punch through several layers. To bind my book together, I am using some brads that I have from my old stash and I can just place these right through the holes once I have everything lined up. And then I will open up the brad endings from the back side. I want to twist these actually so that they go side to side. 
and open those up and use my bone folder to press those flat. If you wanted to dress your book up, you could string some twine or ribbons through and tie them in a bow in the front. And once you have your book bound, it's ready for some decorating. With the variation of color in the book, I thought I would create a really nice example of a bunch of different colors that I really love. And I'm using the Jane Davenport Mixed Media Rub-Ons. And you can cut these up and create an arrangement that you like. I am working on a panel of cardstock. I've also used my label maker to create my title. This is really perfect for creating really small words. I have placed this onto some black cardstock and the way that the tape runs it's through the center so it's really easy to remove that backing. So once I have my configuration done I'll remove the protective backing and put it right back down onto my panel. I'm using the popsicle stick that's included in the rub-on pack and I'm rubbing firmly to push that rub-on right into the cardstock. I check every now and again to make sure that I have really good connection with the paper. And then when I'm done rubbing on my section, I can remove that backing. And it is almost as though that is painted on. This is my final book. I really like how it turned out. I added the color coordinates from Simon's Stamp to the back. And I'll do a really quick flip through. So everything is all together. And we've also included some circles that you can stamp your own ink in, since some of the printers have a different calibration to color. Also, the way the book is set up, you have room to write notes and such on the back side of each of the color coordinates. I hope I've given you some inspiration in creating some cards and also a swatch book using the Simon Says Stamp color coordinates. Be sure to check the links below for all the supplies and the downloadable PDFs. And as always, thanks so much for watching.